Oh, welcome back everybody to Elder Scrolls Online with Tamray and the Crafter. We are, I'm not sure where we are, we're in this beautiful spot right next to a dragon scour. I think we just got our tails handed to us in a public dungeon, which given the level we're at, it's not surprising. Oh, let's have a look at our inventory. This is why we're standing here looking like a lost sheep. Rightio. We are heading on back to that shrine that starts with F in the main city over in elsewhere. This one doesn't start with F, it's Rimmon. God. Alrighty, travel to Women Race Shrine. Just zip my head down to where it needs to be. People there, privacy. There we go. Alright. You know, this is how I pre start pretty much every session that I play. Um, whether I'm on screen or not, is heading to the bank with an overloaded backpack. I might actually see if I've got enough for the next level up of backpack, but I don't think I do just yet. Let us toddle. Sierra Sinner. I do not Sinner. tolerate sticky fingers in my bank. Well, man, lady, it's a good thing I washed my fingies before I came in. Alrighty. So uh, what I'm doing is correcting in correcting, collecting ingredients for crafting uh, shield styles or different styles, not necessarily shield styles, that one happens to be one and uh, other stuff so that later on when I want to be doing something exciting like that ooh, um, we have uh, the ingredients to do it with I'm just Having a look at um, bits and bobs. Now, as I record, it is like it is the sixth of February. My bank is full. Are you telling me I have an absolute squidillion tons of pewter ounces that I haven't used? See, I mean, look at this. This is a bit disgraceful. No wonder my bank is full. Can I just stack that? Why are you not stacked? Because you're even thread, and that's ebony ingot. Alright, so some of this lower level stuff I have not crafted with enough to, um, that's not lower level stuff. That stuff is we use it to refine our equipment with, and I'm just hanging on to it for some unknown reason. Um, mundane runes, I need a few more of them. I want to start putting furniture in my houses. Alright. Platinum ounces. Yeah, I think we maybe sort of kind of may need to start using those. But it does make me feel better because I can sell I can sell a few of them. Might do that a little later. Alright. And that's not a platinum ounce, it's a pewter ounce. What are you on? Sixteen, nineteen. All right. So because I have more pewter ounces that I want to put into the bank, I think this is what it's doing. Let's try this. Yeah. So because there are more pewter ounces to go into the bank than there are spaces in my pewter ounce stack, it wouldn't let me put it in. So it'll only let me put in six more. It won't actually split my stack for me to let me do that. I did not know I did that. Well, root of the monkey. Let's um let's let's just put that in. <laughs> I know what. Oh dear. Do, do, do. Why am I doing this? Because I would like to to please. Can I has a uh, a full stack of pewter ounces in my bank? And then I'll just sell whatever's left. There we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> what? I'm I'm blaming my little ops comp head on that one. Oh dear. And the reason my bank is full is because I have multiple stacks of 200 of stuff that I haven't been using. We're not even going to go to where the psychology of that is. Okay, just leave it alone. Alrighty, I have deposited what I can. Let us escape the bank. Let's have a look at what this notification is about. 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to let my secondary claim this one. This is our daily rewards. It's a meal. Nom nom nom. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to let her claim the crown soul gems because I had a look and saw how many soul gems my main is packing. It, it won't hurt to let my, my secondary have some. Uh, what else have I got to do? <laughs> I have what? I have to check my mail. Oh no. This is like, I've just emptied my backpack. Oh goody, have some of these. In a minute, it's going to have a, a pain, uh, a hissy fit and tell me. That my backpack is full and I'll be like well gee I wonder why oh good I'll let her have the gold for that one as well she can she can has okay are we done yet no because now we're gonna go all the way back over here let me have a look at my pack yeah all the way back over here and we're going Concerned to about deposit feet. everything we just picked up do you do you, oops not why do I have iron ore in my bank? Because I did not want my main character carrying it around like a lunatic. Okay, we've got this. Now I have an extra space in my bank. How exciting. Which is exciting because it means I can accidentally put something in there that I shouldn't <laughs> uh, do 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 the reason I had iron ore in my bank was because my main character was no longer uh, carrying it uh, sorry no longer mining it I'll get there eventually the words I'm trying to do two things at once Sometimes this works okay for me. Uh, and other times it doesn't work out so well. Alrighty. We now have a whole 17 spaces in our backpack. So the reason why um, my crafting goods are in my bank and in my backpack is because I don't have ESO Plus. And uh, with ESO Plus I could have quite nicely had a crafting bag that would have fitted all of that in it. I'm still thinking about ESO Plus. You, I may yet convince myself that I need it. Let's have a look at our missions. I think I do need it, but shh. Uh, radio. We have 17. I have 8 mission spaces left. What am I looking for? I need to go find Ta. Is it very funny? All right, carrot soup and golden lager. Golden lager, I think, requires wheat. Carrot soup requires a carrot. No, I'm not following you around. I promise. Alrighty. So what I'm thinking is, is my character seriously is not the right level to take on a public dungeon. Well, duh. <laughs> okay. Level sixteen. Mm -hmm. Without any champion points spent on her, I I think I think we're gonna we're gonna have to just call call it on this um on, the, on this event mission. We can still roam around the countryside though and pick up um some very nice what are they called elsewhere thingamy boxes while it's running. So we might do that because we can get some nice stuff out of it anyway. Uh, let's grab this holiday event. We're gonna we don't need to dump it yet. We will eventually. I know, it's, I'm just going to leave it there to annoy me, to remind me that I need to work harder to make my character higher. Alrighty, I know, I'm, I'm not mean to myself. Let us get these bows and things crafted. I'm, I'm still trying to work out why I can't craft in all the styles with this character when I can in the other. Maybe I just don't understand the crafting thing in me, what's it yet. We'll get there. I think it's I think it's because this character needs to collect the bits and bobs that the other character has possibly I know there are there are gaps in my in my knowledge for this game that I really need to fill Is 
There you go. Press the right button and everything works really well. It is actually, if you're curious, it's uh, it's about 5.40 in the morning here. Um, and I've got a slam dunk busy day ahead. So I'm just recording this before I hook into it. That is my woodworking stuff done. Oh, you know what I forgot to do before I made all of that? I know. Shh. I need to find some things to deconstruct. We're not deconstructing the maple bows, but we will deconstruct... Seriously, three additional open inventory slots. You're going to start dancing with me like this now. Oh, well, okay. Wait, what did I just do to myself? <laughs> I think I crafted a maximum amount of maple thing in me once it's... Oh, no. Yeah, I did. <sighs> That's okay. Let me see if I can deconstruct these because I'm an idiot. Who should not be doing things at this time of the day. <laughs> I hate my computer. Alright, let's go clear ourselves three additional inventory slots. Oh dear. Cornelius. I come from a long line of respectable blacksmiths, dating way back to the middle first era. So you can trust that I sell the finest steel in all of Rimen. Oh, excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, what I'm curious about is how you feel about buying some of my, um, some of my leftover stuff. I actually, I know I don't really want to sell the Donata, because it comes in handy later on. Let's see if I've got any, anything else I can kind of, oh wait. How do you feel about maple shields? I'm going to clear four spaces. Actually, that was five spaces. And then we're going to deconstruct our maple shields <laughs> because I would like, if I could, to get at least a little bit of learning out of my silly mistake. Ah, <laughs> oh, we have to go looking for maple now. Oh dear, I know, I absentmindedly hit the wrong button. Could you wanna? Yes, yes, you totally could. Actually, it's easy to see if I've got anything to research by looking in here. Um, because anything to research will have a little magnifying glass next to it. We maybe sort of need to do that, don't we? <laughs> it is not a senior's moment if you're not a senior. I'm not that senior, man. Give it a rest. Let's craft this thing up. This is the reason I have all of the crafting materials around that I can. A um, couple oh, of couple of things you might want to do. We, we're going to have to deal with that mystery over there in the corner. If we're not going to be able to participate in the event and finish the holiday intro quest, we might as well spend a bit of time tooling around elsewhere and um, and learning. Uh, some of what this area has to offer. So we might follow, I might follow the storyline through. And we might go back and do a couple of those little quests we picked up because they are a lot of fun. I could always do with finding some more, um, what do you call it? Gems. Shards. Sky shard pieces. There we go. What am I supposed to be making? Normal arm cops. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, okay, so if you have anything to research, it'll have this little symbol next to it. And until recently, I was actually trying to keep everything with that little symbol in it in my backpack. But your research takes time. Uh, so, for instance, if I infuse this one, right... We, this one's only going to take 11 hours. The more the more traits you get, the longer it takes. It starts it starts getting into 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days. However, I think in the next 11 hours I can get some more stuff to research. So I'm going to go and ahead and deconstruct all of these. I know, I'm not looking. La la la. <laughs> Ran, I seriously am not looking because I just 
botched that one up beautifully as well. When I first started, I was doing this all the time. I'd forget to deconstruct, and then I deconstruct everything I just made for my um, <laughs> for my for my writ. Uh, I I was hoping that was a a thing of the past for me. Clearly, this morning, we're we're visiting the past. It's okay. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, so that's those three done. Woodworkers done. Blacksmith and uh, clothier. Alchemist, I've forgotten what I need for the dram of Ravage Magica. We're going to ignore her for just a little bit longer. Check our backpack for space, 76 out of 80, which is nice. We made some space when we um, deconstructed a few things. Alright, so this one I just need to find Tar, and I'm pretty sure we, we checked with her yesterday and that didn't work. Oh, I fell in love. She carries most of the major stuff, except for Tar. Tar you have to go hunting for. Uh, we definitely need more backpack space. Let's let's alchemy this place up. Let's see if we can make our writ. Does not look like it. I think I had to find some more shrooms to go to go with that. Right. So we've still got to do that. I'm pretty sure I don't have a carrot on me yet. Yeah, I still need a carrot and I still need some wheat. We need to go find a dungeon. After, after we drop everything off. And we also might grab the main storyline for this area while we're here. So, um, let us talk to this lovely a lady moment, here. A native Vaux. Uh, excuse me, if I may be so bold... You mm -hmm. matched the description I was given? I have a message for you, if you're willing to accept it. A message for me? More like a summons, really. Comes from Abner Tharn, who once advised Emperor Varen of Cyrodiil. He wants to see you in Riverhold in Northern oh, no. Elsewhere. Said it involves the Khajiiti Defense Force and a rage of dragons, if you can believe it. You know what, we're not going to do this, because I don't think we've completed the, um, the main storyline. And I would like to do that before I did this. We, we have reasons to, to want to do this with Abnathan. I know, running two characters. I finished it with my main. Let's have a look at this. Uh, main quest. The Tharn speaks. See, I think we kind of sort of should do this one first. Alrighty. Change of plans. We're going to go do... I know. I, I, now I'm torn because I know I'm not doing everything. We can pick up those missions if we want, but we won't. What is that? No, we're not taking that. <laughs> the dragons are indeed. They are a very large issue. Have you seen the size of those things? Alrighty. I still want to run around elsewhere this episode just to pick up the coffers. Um, so we will. We'll do that. Because I think by the time I record the next episode, we're going to be um, out of the event. So we might return to our major storylines back then. Alrighty, let's go see what mischief we can get up to in this region without doing the main storyline. Daily endeavor completed. Complete two quests. What are our daily endeavors today? Let's head on into group. Let's head on into endeavors daily. Kill a dragon. Refine raw materials eight times. Complete one but ah, uh, no. <laughs> Not yet. And kill two delve bosses. I could do three of these. And we'll get these handy dandy little seals of endeavor, which we can spend in this shop here. So if you're part of ESO Plus, you get the yellow price, but if you're not, you have to pay the white price, I think. Yeah. Um, so these are some of your Endeavor things that you can get. You need to save up and do an awful lot of quests to get them, but i tell you what, you earn your uh, bits and bobs. Epic. I wonder what we get out of here. I'm just thinking, because she doesn't get a lot of the... I need to get some more of those off my other character. It's 
so yeah, so there's there's bits and th pieces that you can save up for. I think um, Rosalor picked up a couple of uh, of the pets with them. Epic. Yeah, how cute is that? That is very cute. Alrighty, enough waffling in the store. Let's get going. What am I doing? I'm going to the bank because some nice lady just dumped a whole bunch of stuff on my into my inventory. Clothier's satchel. Let's just grab that and use that. Blacksmith's crate. Let's grab that and take all of that. I know it's a menace, we just need to get it out of our pack now. Uh, we need to open that. What is in that thing? Ew. Alrighty, I'll look at that in just a tick. Actually, we'll look at that now because... Hey! We did not have that one. And this is the reason we're doing the event, uh, e running around even when we can't past the entry exams. So from the dragon, got some soul gems, that's always nice to have. Half digested document pouch, uh oh. Ooh. Alright, well I think I might know that one, but we'll check it out anyway. Blueprint. Yes, we know that one, we might just ditch it. Um, by ditch it I mean we'll sell it to someone. Like, I don't know, some, some unsuspecting local. <laughs> no, we're not thinking in chat. What are you trying to do? You're supposed to be depositing that in the bank. You there can you be assured. Let's try this trick again. Ironstone shard used for crafting the new moon priest style, if you want to make that. Bone. Uh, I picked up the daily reward on her instead of the other character today because she's been a good bunny and needs it. Uh, flax, garnet, gilding salts, all good crafting bits. Hemming, hide. No, wait. Is that the raw or is that the... Um... No, that's fine. You wanted that in there. It's the hide scraps that are the raw. Iron ingot. Jute. Moonstone, pewter ounce, nope, rawhide, ruby, sanded maple, doo doo. See, we can die twice now fighting a dragon. Uh, um, woodworker's case, let's not deposit that. That's why I was still in my inventory, I see. So we did enchanting. No, we haven't done enchanting because we're looking for tar. We haven't done provisioning because we're looking for carrots and wheat. And so that's the only other thing I have to open in here. Okay, so that's all done. I have to talk to the banker again. The Rimmen Bank. I swear, a an hour of playtime a day, and most of <laughs> most of it, what I get to do is, um, yeah, sort my inventory because I don't have ESO plus. That's my choice, but um, oh man, highly flexible undergirdle supports the back while remaining unrestricted, no matter how it's contorted. Okay, good for dancers, I guess. Pewter ounce. Sanded oak, sanded maple. That'll help us with our next uh, thing, given I just spent... Ooh. Fragment of an ancient mural depicts the kingdom of Tenma, known for its jungle and tree dwellers. Return it to the House of Histories in Riverhold in Northern Elsewhere. We should definitely do that. Okay. That is that. We have our notification to deal with or it's going to flash there in the corner and annoy me. So, hands has been updated with the Claw Dance Acolyte Braces Collectible. Thank you. 
Ugh, radio. Outfit styles, hands, and I'm pretty sure it's down here in signature. Uh, this one, DLC zones, southern elsewhere. Ooh, what did we pick up for that? The Dragon Guard Elites Jack. So we're trying to fill in this collection. I'm not quite sure how this works yet. I'm hoping it's something I can craft up later. Okay. I know, half the episode doing crafting and sorting out our stuff. What is in my stuff, actually? We need to also do a couple of runs, seeing as I can't tuck these in my... um. In my thing, we're going to have to do a couple of treasure map runs in which we're going to bounce all over the countryside, actually looking for the treasure and the surveys. Unless my other character can clear space in the box. Let's go and sell a few things to merchants. This one will do. A bit of this, a bit of that. I know, Nathunder. Alrighty, we can deconstruct these or we can sell them. I'm going to try and save up for a backpack, so I'm going to be really naughty and sell them. Uh, Donata. We will get more of that. I'll, I will get it out of my packs, can't use it. False eye. Flexible undergirdle can go. Someone else's back needs that. Lizard eye marbles. Procura. I know. I could probably sell that for a small profit in, in the uh, guild store if I wanted to. Except... You know what? I really should deconstruct these. If only to make sure I don't... I can't, um, research them. I just gotta grab that. See, that's probably... I have not been doing my due diligence with this. See, that should probably go on my head. There we go. That looks so much better. Jewelry. I lose a hundred weapon damage. Aldmian's amulet, imbued with some of the animal cruelty that comes from life as a vampire and a cultist. Let's start, let's change that over, shall we? We'll have the Undertaker's amulet instead, because that's so much better. Uh, um, yeah, it'll do fine. All right, we've got this. We might, we might go and deconstruct those. Wait, was that jewelry that I could research? Because I'm a little bit. Oh no. Okay, I know what my problem is here. I think. No, it will let me do it. Let's um, let's research this. It's because I have a lot of trouble getting past the first three traits on jewelry. We'll deconstruct that because ew. All right, let's go see if we can get something useful done. What's fifty-four out of eighty is a good lot of spaces. And I'm pretty sure I can't afford a um a bag just yet. There are stairs here up there, yeah. Uh, we're after the bag merchant, just to see how much our next up backpack upgrade is gonna cost. Machlo. Rest your feet and walk. Ooh. I could I could do with more backpack space. I mean I could do with more cash too, but backpack space is good. Shores, bones. Rigert knew he should have brought more mead. You know what? This is a fun little adventure. And it will take us all over elsewhere. We might do it, because it is it is awesome. Let's go. Hello. Rigert was just asking this merchant which mound of colored powder he should eat first. Rigert says red. Merchant says, please go away. 
we find ourselves as stalemates. Oh no. But Rigert has bigger problems than what to eat for lunch. Huh, what's wrong? As soon as Rigert returned home from successful diplomatic endeavoring, the Scald King sent him to elsewhere with gifts for the cats. Rigert is always oh no. given the most important, most faraway missions. <laughs> the problem is, Rigert lost the gifts. How did you lose them? So many ways. First, a courier brought Rigert's package to Riverhold instead of Rimen. Then, as our ship was boarding, a werebear attacked and stole honey needed for my special sweet bread. <laughs> Last and not least, Rigert's famous minstrels are missing. Ha, huh. I'll help you recover your missing gifts. Thank you, friend. Retrieve Rigert's package from Thadara in the Riverhold Marketplace and meet me after in the stitches. Rigert's diplomacy waits for no man, or woman, or cat. <laughs> but be careful. Sweaty threats fill elsewhere's deserts. What's in the missing package? The finest coats in all of Skyrim. A gift for Canon Reeve Juzdo to make peace between the Nords and Khajiit. Rigert would already have them if his courier wasn't completely incontinent. The package was delivered by Tadara <laughs> in Riverhold Marketplace. I'll retrieve the package, but what about your stolen honey? It's impossible to find Windhelm worthy honey in elsewhere, but this cat merchant says honey flowers for Merryvale Moon sugar farms will work for baking sweet bread. Rigert's cooking is sure to make peace between the Nords and <laughs> oh, Kajit. No. I'll gather the honey flowers, but what about the missing minstrels? Rigert hired Skyrim's best band, the Screaming Mammoths, to play for Lady Issa. She has great influence with the cats, so Rigert needs to gain her favors to clinch peace between our peoples. Last Rigert heard, the band was at Valenwood Gate. Got it. I'll get the package, pick the honey flowers, and search for the minstrels. Why did that not work? Thank you, friend. Retrieve Rigert's package from Thadara okay, in work. Riverhold Marketplace and meet me after in the stitches. I Rigert. will do that. Right. And there was one other mystery. That other adventurer running around with the little green blots steaming in his wake reminded me of it. So uh, let's toddle over this way. Let's not jump off the edge and break our ankles before we go on a very long run across elsewhere. We are going to toddle this way to... Um, to, to speak to this lady here, you know what I love about some of these missions is they introduce you to the countryside and take you places where you can finish things on your map that you might not have otherwise, that, that you might have had trouble finding. Um, so each of these places we, we go to, we can expect to find at least one other marker for an adventure which we'll complete while we're there. Ah, uh, because that's not scary at all. Hey Tahara! A hundred apologies, Walker, but this show is postponed for now. Aww. If you purchased a ticket, this one would gladly refund your gold. Is there a problem? Oh, forgive Tahara. Her worry gets the better of her. One of my menagerie's most terrifying beasts escaped from his cage. I turned my back for only a moment to speak to an onlooker, you see, and bow, the monster burst free! What kind of monster are we talking oh, about? A vicious beast <laughs> with ravening jaws and oh, no. black eyes. The Brett and Tahara bought it from called the creature Bertha. But do not let its silly name fool you. You seem capable. If you find Bertha, I will gladly share some of my profits with you. All right. I'll find this Bertha and bring it back. This one is humbled by your generosity, Walker. She will see you full compensated for the danger of this task i have more questions about this monster of course tahara will answer what she can i warn you though you may learn more than you'd like tales of Bertha can rattle your very soul all right let's rattle it can you describe Bertha in detail i need to know what i'm looking for yes yes of course it stalks on four clawed feet, standing as high at the shoulder as Tahara is at her waist. Its fur 
is blood burnished gold, and its floppy ears tingle <laughs> like ears. curtains at the cheek, framing a muzzle filled with yellow teeth. Uh, are you describing a dog? Yes! Yes! Oh, Walker, you will never meet a more fearsome creature. To think the noble wolf bred into such a compact frame of death and horror. In the Kashiti tongue, Ta'agra, the word for dog, means death. Can you believe that? A dog means death? Really? Well, uh, no. Dog <laughs> just means dog. But still, you know what Tahara is telling you. Tahara is a showman. I get it. I'll go find your dog. Find Bertel. Hints. Look for signs of Bertel's passage. Like that little green steaming pile of... Yes. Let's go. Bertel must have been very, very scared when he ran through here because I think he's left a trail. I've lost him. Oh, no, here's another Bertel patch. Radio. Oh, there we are. Alright, I'm going to say he went down the stairs. Yes, there's another Bertel patch. <laughs> All of them are new to I'll just death. keep going. Man, just in case he thinks it was my dog. Oh, there's one. I do not want to know what that is. I'm going to bet he went up the stairs. I mean, you know, oh, there we go. More. Oh no, there we are. There's a, a steamer. There we are. Right, let's find the next one. Elsewhere. ESO. The only place where you can track Doggy Do. There's another one. Oh, There he is. Come here, Bertle. Lure Bertle out. Hint. Find food for Bertle. I, I could steal it, but look, we, we have a choice. We can steal the odiferous meal or talk to Jala. Jala looks reasonable. Jala hopes you have a good reason for interrupting his meal. I couldn't help but notice your fine Khajiiti food. Mm, you're either the best dressed beggar I have ever seen <laughs> or this is some kind of con. What's your game, Walker? Look, hand over the lunch, or I knot that mangy tail of yours around your neck. Zishwo! There is no need for that! Wow, bad Take language for cat. Stuff. I don't care. It isn't even that good. That's what I thought. You know what? Any minute now I'm going to get the watch called on me for threatening people peacefully eating their lunch. However, he might not like it. But we can use the meal. Come on, boy. You poor boy. The scariest in show. <laughs> Come on, Bertle. Look at it. I mean, the only thing that should be scared of this dog is, is whatever's on a plate or sideboard waiting to be served. It looks kind of Labradorish and kind of houndish. And both of them, wow. Taji is a huge kitty. Right, note to self, do not irritate Tajid. Because I don't think Bird to the Face is going to beat Claw to the Head. Oh, it has before, I suppose. Tahara, here's your puppy. My hero returns with the dread Bertel in tow. Uh huh. Surely the creature is under some powerful spell. <laughs> magic so sound even me. Try food. I have your dog. Oh, indeed you do. The gorger of Glenumbra <laughs> captured once more. Its bestial intellect swayed by the promise of grisly table scraps. This will put you work with me here. It's part of the mystique. Just take your gold and that's astounded, all right? Uh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> the gorger of Glenumbra returns! Oh, uh, dear. All right, let's see if there's anything that I can research because... Okay, I can, but 
let's also have a look and see what these booties have have for us. They don't do anything for us. Oh, you know what? I think we need to dismantle them. We do. Get them out of the backpack. And put other stuff in the backpack. Man, I think I just traded one slot for two. Oh boy. We're good. Alright, let's check our blacksmithing. See if we can research anything in there. I have a space. But do I have anything worth researching? Oh, yes I do. An iron helm of magicka. Let's, let's dismantle that little... That little trinket. Divine. It's not a bad trait to have first up either. Alright, it's going to take me five hours. Or so. Um, I suppose, seeing as I'm going to have to go back to the bank already. We can... <laughs> nope, that's good. Doopy-doopy-doo. We'll just go over to the unused woodworking station. Let us check our researchy bits. Let's take that. I'm not fussy. We'll just research whatever we can. I mean, when you've got this much unknown, you might as well. And see what's left to dismantle. One maple lightning staff. We'll get rid of that. Alrighty, check our pack. 54 out of 90. You know what? I think we can have maybe a whole 40 spaces spare if I just go and empty it over at the bank. So we'll go do that. Who's that? Talk to Philan Damari. Uh, I think, isn't she the lady with the... Yeah, we, we need to go to another city to fulfil that. One where my other character hasn't gone and bought the inn already. What have we got? I know, don't accidentally hit anybody. You'll be, you'll be you can be assured dead. Uh, that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's. Excellent. Now we have 51 spaces. We can go adventuring to our heart's content. I really need to go and do the mage line of quests as well. Uh, and I need to go and get, um, we need to do a couple of things as well as running around elsewhere looking after Rigget. We literally need to go, let me just check my map, uh, we need to go and get, finish the mage quest line, we need to finish the fighter quest line. We need to go down to High Isle and pick up our ability to do jewellery and we also need to go and, oh man I will get there. So. High Isle for jewellery and cards. Mage line, fighter's line and main story line. And you know what? Once we've done that, we can troll around here to our heart's content. What is this one? Talk to Vasby. Yep. Complete the tr No. <laughs> Talk to the magnate Fina Durak. Okay, those are the two adventures we picked up on the way through. Uh, I've got to go that way. Find Nazda and find Vol. Bring the, okay, we might as well just finish that little bit and talk to Thadara. I know, I feel like dumping all of these. Let's, um, let's go for a run. So the other thing we're also looking for is we're looking for... Um, One of my friends told me that the monks at two moons I'm are going no in the longer wrong direction. chasing invisible butterflies. What a relief! I was worried about We'll also take on any dragons that we just happen to come across in battle. Um, try and pitch in for that. Okay, we're ignoring full glory for the moment. I think that takes us to Cyril Deal, doesn't it? I haven't done anything there. That's like PV, PvP stuff. Not really my bag. Ah, oh, Apprentice Taz. Oh, there you are. Lovely to see you again. Do you have a tablet for me to inspect? Yeah, here's what I found. Let's see. Fascinating. This is certainly worthy of the trial of knowledge. Well done. I'll see to it that this information is passed into the records of the Elsewhere Defense Force. Are you interested in the additional challenge? Sure, remind me again about the additional challenge. To achieve absolute victory in the knowledge trial, the challenge is simple. You must answer all of my questions regarding dragon lore correctly. Oh. Surely you'll have no trouble. Do you accept the challenge? Sure, I accept the challenge. Excellent. First, 
What is a dragon's main form of conveyance? How do they most often get around, so to speak? Well, I mean, seeing as elsewhere is covered with ocean, I guess they fly. Correct. Next question. What is the name of the dragon god of time? It's the one you guys always use as a swear word. Akatosh. Yes, perhaps the most well-known dragon. It carries quite a power, doesn't it? And finally, what manner of creature typically accompanies a dragon in battle? Atronax. Correct again. Truly, you are a learned scholar of dragon lore. Uh, no. I will let Captain Samara know you've proven yourself twice over in the trial of knowledge. Well done. Oh, thank you. No, Atronax, because they... The breath weapons aren't enough for dragons. No, dragons have to toast you with other creatures as well. Alright, we need to go... Where's my horse? Spore pony. Not gotten from um, the event, but actually gotten from pre-ordering pre the next um, DLC. Alrighty, we are going to do some adventures along the way. So I might just do Rigget's adventure and then uh, whatever adventures we come across. We'll avoid the main storyline here because I want to finish the storyline in the other areas first. Let me just see where Vasby is. Right. Oh, of course she's right next to the dungeon. I mean, we could we could try and get ourselves killed in another main dungeon. That could be fun. Anakina Aqueduct. Animal companions can increase to six. I know, what am I doing? Don't ask. I don't know. I'm going to go and annoy a lion. Hopefully not too badly. You can generally tell if you've drawn its attention because your, your riding pace will slow down. Just try not to ride yourself off a cliff in this terrain. We must talk something about the water, Silujo. If you would just... No adept can face the wastes alone, child. This one insists you stay. And that, guys, is where we're going to leave this episode. Next episode, we are going to be starting in sickness and in health. But until then, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.